guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be giving you 50 ideas of what you could paint or draw when you're lacking inspiration. Let's go. Number one is to draw an original character or an OC. Number two is to look up your favorite artist and paint in their style. Number three is to paint with something that you've never used before. So you could go out to the shops and buy a new material, or maybe one of your family members has something lying around that you could use. Number four, alternatively, if you don't have anything else that you can use, you could experiment with painting with coffee or nail varnish. I don't know, anything you have lying around, then just experiment with it and have some fun. Number five is to paint something that you're not good at. So it might be hands, it might be faces, it might be landscapes. Number six, if you usually paint traditionally, try doing some digital art and vice versa. Number seven is to pick scenes from your favorite movie and try to draw them. Could be something like Studio Ghibli that has all of those really cinematic scenes. Number eight is to explore a new art style. So this could be anime style, this could be realism or maybe abstract if you've never tried that before. Number nine is to paint a fantasy creature and number 10 is to paint a fantasy landscape. Number 11 is to paint a landscape from the country that you want to visit the most. Number 12, paint the view from your window. Number 13 is to find an old drawing that you made maybe just a few years ago or maybe from your childhood and try and redraw it. 14 is to paint your favorite celebrity. Number 15 is to paint a hairstyle that you really like and maybe you could draw yourself with it and see how it looks. Number 16 is to draw your favorite animated character like you'd imagine them in real life. 17 is to just splat some paint on a blank canvas or something cheaper like just a bit of cardboard and see what you can make of it. I did that recently with a painting of an apple. This one here, I just splat some brown paint on it. It's not on anything special, it's just on the back of a cereal box but it really helped me start when I had problems with art block. Number 18 is to draw a book character as how you'd imagine them in real life. This one's a bit tricky but number 19 is to try paint something in inverted colors and use a filter on your phone to see if you got it right just a bit of a challenge number 20 is if you do digital art you could pick out a color palette and change the settings so everything on the canvas looks black and white so you can't see what color you're using and then paint whatever you want to paint and at the end turn on the colors and see what it looks like number 21 is to brainstorm something that's really meaningful to you and try to convey that in a painting i keep saying painting by the way but it doesn't have to be a painting that's just what i do number 22 is to paint something entirely in one color and see if you can make it look good you could also just use a limited color palette number 23 is to look up one of those live drawing videos on youtube the poses are from about 30 seconds to 10 minutes so you have to draw really quickly sometimes, which is always a fun challenge and it also pushes you to overcome perfectionism. Halfway there, 25 is to pick a really famous artist and try to copy their work and learn from their techniques. 26 is to paint something themed around the current season. 27 is to do a self-portrait. You could try to make it realistic or paint yourself in an abstract way. Try and convey an emotion or something like give it an artistic touch. <laughs> 28 is to paint with a certain theme so you could just pick something random like the seaside or a forest or it could be something more abstract like a quality or an emotion try painting something cultural could be from your own country or a different country that you really like like how in japan they have the temples and the kimonos you could paint something like that or maybe in spain you could draw some donkeys <laughs> i don't know i associate donkeys with spain now 30 is to draw or paint a meme could be fun. 31 is to experiment with lighting. If you've got any lights at home that can change colour or you could just go through Pinterest and look up pictures that are affected by colour. You could maybe shine a blue light on your face for example and try to capture your skin tones and make it look realistic even though your skin is blue. Or maybe if you're into landscapes you could paint a sunset and try to capture how the sun and all of the colours in the sky affect the landscape as well. 32 is to paint something that one of your family members or friends might like and give it to them as an easy birthday or Christmas present. 33 is to pick one of your favourite photos from your camera roll and just try and replicate it. 34 is to pick an image that you like and try to change it in subtle ways to make it completely different. So for example, you could use your knowledge of facial structures. If you're a woman, you can maybe take a picture of your own face and make subtle changes to make you look like a man and vice versa. It could teach you a lot about anatomy or you could pick a picture that conveys a certain emotion. Like it could be kind of a depressing painting or picture and you can make some subtle changes to make it more optimistic, like identify what changes the piece and that could teach you a bit about how to convey emotion through your artwork 35 is to try to remember and draw your favorite memory 36 is to shut your eyes and turn around or look at something in your room and the first thing that you see you have to draw 37 is to paint a plushy toy i would love to draw this one one day 
He's so cute. 38 is to paint or draw your house. 39 is to just draw a random building. It could be something simple, like the one that you see out your window, or it could be something like a castle or a cottage in the woods or a tree house. Number 40 is if a certain holiday like Easter, Halloween or Christmas is coming up, you could paint something in the theme of that holiday. 41 is to draw an outfit that you really like. You don't have to own it, you could just make one up. 42 is if you're into realism or something like that, try drawing something that's wet or covered in plastic. It's surprisingly a lot easier to paint something that's shiny so if you pick water or plastic that actually gives it much more realism. 43 is to design your own t-shirt or any other product that you really like and if you want you can post it on Redbubble which is a website slash app that you can buy stuff from so if you wanted to you could design a t-shirt and then buy it from your own shop and then you would have your own t-shirt that you designed which just sounds amazing to be honest. 44 is to find one of those Pinteresty 30 day art challenges and see how far you make it. 45 is to participate in an art challenge, for example, Inktober, where for one month you use ink to create a piece of art every day. 46 is to find one of your old or recent drawings that you don't like that much and see if you can improve it or maybe just repaint it completely. 47 is to find a local or online art competition and paint something according to the theme that you could enter. 48 is if you have any pets at home or something, you could paint them. 49 is to try the art challenge where you paint the same thing three times. The first time you have one minute to complete it, the second time 10 minutes and the third time one hour and see what the difference is. Number 50, the last one is to create your own Christmas card. So this could be a one-time thing, like you make it just for one person or you can make lots of prints and give it out to your friends, family and neighbours. You could add a sneaky website link on the back of the card in the corner like buy my art. <laughs> Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've really enjoyed these ideas and that I've given you some inspiration to start creating something right now. If you did like the video, please leave a like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.